garden ghost. <laughs> Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm here with the makings of the garden ghost. And I got two different sizes, actually by accident. I got a large tomato cage and a small. I had no idea there was two different sizes, but those were compliments of Lowe's friend Hermitage PA. I told him I'd tell you that. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to make the big one first. So all I want you to do. I got two different sized seraphim balls, only on account of the two different sized tomato cages. Get out of here, these bees. All right, just take this head and stick it right. And we can put it on there so it's, you know, it doesn't fall off. These are the arms. You bend these out like this. This is so simple and so cute. This is so cute. Okay. I got a sheet. Just like an old sheet. Oh, you know, just a white sheet. Listen, I was going to iron it. But I think maybe the wrinkled look might be it. And another thing, this thing's going to be outside in the rain, the snow, and everything else. So, you know. So anyway, see, see where we're at here. Okay. I'm going to take this sheet. Drape it right over this. This is like any simpleton can do this. And then just start gathering it around. You know, you want it to look like uh, ghostish. I kind of like the way this one looks right here. See, his arms are out pretty wide, but I kind of like the way this one looks. What do you think? I think it's kind of adorable. Remember our push pins from the uh, from the jewelry tree? These. Got a, I'm going to put one in his head just so it stays in there. Right in the top. Alright. Could even put in one or two. What? Can, I, can you see me? I, I'm outside for a change. I hope this works because it's beautiful out here today. Okay. There he is. Okay. I'm going to give you a good look all the way down. Okay. Hey, you know what? Another thing, too. You know, it might be a good idea, because this is going to be like a kite in the wind. Because don't forget October weather. Right around the bottom of this thing. Right here. Maybe put a brick. You know, put a red brick or something down there. To hold it in place, because I have had these knock over, you know. He's already blowing, see? Okay, here's the next step. We already pinned his head down, pinned his head. I think we're going to draw a ghost face. Uh, can you see me? Because I can't see. There you are. Just draw a ghost. What's a ghost face? Whatever you want. This is the one I chose. You can draw a ghost face. You can draw a pumpkin face. Whatever you want. I'm going to go with big old eyes. Make sure you're using a, um, a permanent marker because it's going to be out in the rain, the snow, and everything else. Oops. His eyeball all colored in there. You can do this down on the floor, but I just prefer to do it on his head so I know where I'm putting it. But you know, like I told you, there's no rocket science to anything I do. So you can do anything you want. You know, I was even thinking today, wouldn't it be cute to put a little Halloween mask on him even? I'm going to make a ooh, big ghost mouth like this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, okay, that's a ghost face to me. Oh. And that, the next thing, put something in his arm. I picked this, when I got this at the dollar store, family dollar, stuffed it with some paper. Can you, can you see him? Yeah, you can see him. Put a little bag, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can put anything in his arms. You can put a pumpkin, you, you can put anything you want. But just remember, this stuff's always going to be outside in the weather. So you want to make it right. So let's make the baby now. Okay. 
This is the big guy, the mama or whatever. We'll call this the mama ghost. Okay, yeah. So let's make the baby now. Tiny little cage. I had no idea. Same thing. Bending the arms down. I got a smaller styrofoam ball for this head. Let's knock that on there. I'm going to bend these arms a little, make them a little bit smaller because this is a small, this is supposed to be a baby. So I'm going to make bend these in half. You know what's really <laughs> nice is after, after Halloween, you can put these away. You know, wash them, fold them up, put them away for next year with this with your styrofoam ball, and use a tomato cage for your tomatoes. <laughs> I'm all about saving money. Okay. Again, just a white sheet. Oh, look at that little baby, so cute. Same thing, drape it around, whatever, you know. Pin his head. Bonk. Let's see. I'm going to make a cuter face for the baby. I don't want him being scary. So we're going to do this. We're going to do his cute little baby eyes. We'll make him looking at his big brother. How about that? That'll be cute. Oh, see, he already blew over. That's why you got to put a red brick under it. Told you. I'm going to make a little, I'm going to make a little crooked smile for him. Oh, that's adorable. Fill it in a little bit. You know, you can put little hats on these. You can hang anything you want off them. There's just no, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. Because this is, this is my channel. There is no directions for anything on my channel. <laughs> anyway, do you see what I got this little ghost to hold? This, look at this little pumpkin. There we go. Now. Like I said, the big one already fell over, so you want to put a brick or something under it. Let me set them back up, and I'll put them up together, and you can see them. And these are your garden ghosts. And they're easy to store, because all you got to do is put them in your shed, put the tomato cages away in your shed, store these things away with your Halloween stuff. Put this here. You can do anything you want. You can move these around any way you want. Like I said, we'll put a brick or something. For now, I'm going to put a pumpkin on the back so it stays up for you guys to see. There. Now, let's see. How are we getting a good picture? I never worked. I never came outside with Jim's before. I think this is working pretty good. I hope you can see it good. What do you think? Aren't those adorable? There I am. Aren't those adorable? <laughs> so, we got baby ghost. We'll call that brother ghost, okay? And... I'm going to darken their faces in a little bit. Like right now, I have way too much in my yard. I have way too much out here. So, it's a little early to put my ghosts out. So, I'm going to take them in the house. But, they're ready to go for Halloween. And, um, once I do, you know, clear out all the, get the garden ready for, for the uh, Halloween, we'll put them back up. But, aren't they adorable? And they're so simple. They're so simple. Tomato cage, styrofoam ball, and a white sheet, and a pen, uh, a permanent marker, something for them to hold. Is that the cutest thing or what? So, that's it. That is our garden ghost, the brother and the baby. I hope you love them, and I hope that you love this channel, and I hope you love me as much as I love you. If you do, subscribe, like, and share, because this channel needs a little building. <laughs> you know I have my Noni Reads to Me channel, which is doing much better. But uh, we need to work a little bit on this one. So anyway, there's our Halloween Garden Ghost. I hope that you love them, and I will see you guys real soon. I don't know what we're going to do next. I know we got to do Halushki, and I forgot to get cabbage, if you can even believe it. But uh, i got to think of something else for us to, something better. Something, I don't know what's better than these, but I'll find something good, okay? All right, girls, get to work on your Halloween decorations. When we get ready to start really decorating outside, I'll come back and we'll we'll have a, uh, we'll see how every, what everybody's gardens look like, okay? If you have any questions, ask me in the comments. And I hope to see you again soon.
back up. There he goes. See, I didn't put anything on the bottom of him. What I tell you? Back up. Ugh.